Welcome to 62 to Freedom. This is Build Day 308. And uh, yesterday, you know, I had my daughter's dance and everything, and I didn't catch much progress. Actually, I did catch some progress. You know, I did a, but I don't know, the GoPro ate it for lunch. A lot of progress has happened on this uh, outdoor CR. He's completely finished, even trimming the, trimming the top up there by the blue. He taped it off and because the uh, that concrete board was supposed to be white, but it's really off-white compared to the color of the house. So now the CR matches the house. It's just the door was blue, but you know you can't have everything. You know if the door was glass reflection, but you know it's the CR, so you don't want to look in there. At least the window's blue. So. That's looking good. There's some progress upstairs I will show you in a minute. And they're working on these uh, security doors for the master bedroom and uh, uh, my, my daughter's room. And voila, they made some progress on the generator house. This is gonna be the house where the generator lives at. So the, the block wall back there is to keep the rain from landing on the generator the best as possible. And uh, then uh, there would just be uh, like security bars up here, like the the blue bars over there. But um, and that's where the generator will live right there. And we'll lock that up, of course. And, for security purposes. I was gonna put it in the storage room, but the storage room is just too small for the generator and everything. So, that's that. They're still working on that today. And um, some of the clearing from behind the fence, cause uh, there's gonna be another fence, you know, because the dogs like to go, the dogs like to come from over there and they poop all along this, they poop all the way down the slope here and it sticks up there, down there, mainly down there on my neighbors because they like that flat sand over there. <laughs> That's like their, their CR over there. But uh, anyway. I would like to keep this from becoming a storage heap, like a trash heap up here. I want my house to look good, so I don't want a bunch of stuff stored up here in my property. I don't want it. So I'm gonna put a fence around it. It looks trashy. You know, a nice house with a bunch of trash stored underneath of it. I don't, I don't like it, so. Hey there. And then when the build is done, I'm going to make this chicken pen as soon as possible so I can get rid of all this stuff. I'm going to use a lot of those to make the, an odd shaped pen, maybe a hexagonal chicken pen. A blue hexagonal chicken pen with a flat roof part with this. And then, I don't know, I might give them a little gutter. <laughs> you know? to keep the chickens from getting wet, you know, during the uh, rainy season. So this is gonna be my project later. So this will be the first project, you know, to continue the channel. Over. It's gonna be a big job for me by myself. But it's okay, give me something to do. You know, keep me alive. Ah. So my plants are doing okay. That's a rambutan, you know, Comanche tree. That's a uh, guacamole tree. <laughs> you know, I like to joke about that. And I don't care what you people with no sense of humor think. I, that's my guacamole tree. And there was a tomato, and I'm not sure what this one is. And there was a tomato right here, but it got trampled. I think it's dead. 
It's still green though, let's give it a chance. Hold on. I don't know. Hey. Let me see here. Stake it up a little bit, maybe. It'll still make it. Oh, yeah. Huh? You trampled my little tomato plant, man. <laughs> I'm gonna tie it up. It'll be all right. I don't think it's gonna make no tomatoes. <laughs> it's not gonna make no tomato. Wait, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, the gangsters, the gangsters did this to my tomato plant, man. <laughs> they said they didn't pay no rent, so it's got to die. You know, the banana tree that was living right here in the middle of the gate, it was like three inches tall that I planted here. Man, this thing looks magnificent. Look at that banana tree. It was three inches tall, and I thought, man, it really wants to live, but... In front of the gate so i gave it a chance i brought it back here and planted it gave it a little bit of water wow i know it loves me too because i saved you i saved his life and it knows that it knows that man and look it's got babies already there's one baby two babies growing off the root ball ready to keep the bloodline going that's from a tree that had to die up here to build the house, too. Along with all these transplants, I didn't want any... Those bananas were already growing in this soil, so I thought it'd be, they'd be a perfect um, transplant because they're not going to, you know, they're not going to have to get used to the soil and all that stuff. I still got to get a hasp. I think Gary's going to make a hasp. But here's the security doors for us. So Rain can put this. There's be a lock right there. And there'll be a lock in the middle here. So that the bars cannot be, you know, they're already uh, riveted heavily down on this side. So Rain can. Uh, get some air in here and still take a nap or something and just roll everything else open and roll the screen closed. It's kind of uh, difficult to, but you can do it. You know, and then open the door all the way, you know. So she got a, uh, she got up, she got options. You know, roll this door all the way open. Put the screen, boom, you do that first before you do this part so it's not so hard. So bang. Lock it up, lock it up. Throw a fan on it, if it's kind of chilly anyway. Throw a fan on it, it might be enough. She ain't gotta have AC. But she's got a 1.5 horsepower carrier right here. That's not enough. Sometimes I think it will be enough. So, that's the progress there. And down the magnificent hallway, which I call it because it's like seven feet wide. We, yesterday we ran the, uh, a diesel generator all day. And I also put a, uh, one of like broom sweeps across there, but I put it stiff so it can get wore out and still be viable for the future. See, it won't flip because it's so tight. That's how I wanted it. So back here, you know, they're clearing the, they're clearing it, like I said, over there. But also, they made this wall right here. Because, you know, they're going to put some more dirt up in here and everything. So, so now we're going to go, and they, they got this little section of our property up there. So they're going to go from the top of that wall down to the top of this wall at an angle up that way. So... We don't have to worry about, cause you know, they're making a mountain over here. And uh, I don't want no, I don't want no uh, water flowing over in here. I, I just don't want it. So I got a lot of other problems, you know, I got to worry about. So my bulldog is going to get run in today. And then when we finish running it in, you know, the oil will get changed. 
So, cause you know, you break in an engine. I don't know if you noticed and it, it seats the ring seat and everything. And it uh, causes little shavings to get in the oil and you want to get them out of there. You want to run it in and then you flush all the, you pour some good oil in there and drain it. You drain it, pour some good oil in there to flush it out, get all the particles out of there and then fill it up with brand new fresh oil. And you're good to go. So that barge has been languishing there. It must have a propulsion problem. <laughs> Maybe they need, need me to make it a propulsion shaft, tail shaft or something. I could make I could make the propulsion system for that boat and install it if I had to but I ain't going to <laughs> I'm retired so that's how it is and I uh, understand that I never got the price or anything but I understand there's gonna be a lot for sale right up right up here which look at the view and you're not near the water you know you're on the other side of the road up the mountain a little bit but you would need to uh, there's like a little channel through there from rainy season you would need to develop you would need a, a bulldozer or something to go up in there clear and flatten a place and put some fill in there and make a drainage system you know on that side of the road there's a drainage ditch yeah, I don't know if you can see it good. There's a lot of traffic right now. Here I'll show you. Wow. <laughs> so there's a cut right here that's in the property that or some, but you just get some fill like they had, fill that in, and then make a drainage system down this ditch. Then the ditch goes down to a uh, stream or whatever. I mean, a place where they divert the water. So this is where most of it comes, right down through here. And this is beyond the edge of the property, so yeah, you'd have to raise the level of it up a little bit, which would do nothing but help your view. <laughs> Not that it needs help. It doesn't really need help with the view because look at that. You even got this nice tree. Hey, that would help block the uh, evening shade. You give you some evening shade when the sun is low on the horizon. Yeah, I don't know how much it is yet. You know, I'll inform y'all later when the time comes. I think it goes from over here, goes from about right here somewhere, and then over to that little past that pole or to that pole somewhere. So you got some fill to go in there, though. There's some hilly holes up there, but. You just fill that in with like I said it's not too expensive to uh, fill right here and you got like 12 cubics for um, I'm not sure 600 pesos or something like that maybe a thousand it's like 20 bucks it might be 1200 so 25 bucks for 12 you know one of them big trucks to fill you could fill that in with probably I don't know we take an excavator and which you gotta rent. Which they do that around here all the time and that's all over the place. So, 12 cubits you probably need, I'd say 30, 30 of them. So 30 times $25. Add that up. <laughs> so, yeah man, I don't know. It's less than a thousand bucks. You could have it all filled in and uh, settling down for you to come and build your house there. So, anyway, that's it for right now. So I didn't add George into the progress yesterday because, I mean, today, because I didn't know what he was doing, but he's doing some grout right now. And yesterday he fixed the bathroom, some holes in the bathroom door where the window people change the door 
they put it one place, then put it in another place, and they fail to repair their hole. So, and also, I lost the film of this. George fixed the drainage from these. Oh, that looks real good now. You know, instead of those uh, orange pipes flopping around like a snake, everything looks professional down here. I like it. So, I'm not sure about the other side. Maybe he didn't get to the side yet. Ooh. I will show you. <laughs> oh, he fixed this side too. Except he didn't finish painting it yet. It's a preliminary paint, but he got it looking good instead of the crazy snake looking thing that the air conditioned crew, you know, they didn't do it. So we're making it look more professional. And if you get an air conditioned crew, make them do something like this. You know, you don't want uh, um, condensation dripping on your house. So that should take care of it, this little elbow. So. I think he did that yesterday too. And then he was working on uh, some other stuff in there. He works on like 10 things a day. <laughs> it's like 10 things, a little here, a little there, a little all over the place. All the crazy looking places George is going for. <laughs> like he was fixing the ends of here. He fixed the end of this, look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That looks nice now. <laughs> And, uh, he goes so many places, I can't keep up with where he's been. But like I said, it's like the magician walked by when he goes away. The magician already just waved his magic wand. Looks good now. <laughs> he's the finisher magician. And I saw him working on the end down here. I'm not sure where it was. I think it was behind this. Yeah. Behind this bamboo. Yeah. You don't remember, I don't know if you remember what it looked like, but it didn't look anything like that. So it's looking great, man. So, in the future, you know, I might do something with underneath here, but I'm not sure what I will do. So the primary well is, you know, it's a dry season, so it's um, getting low. This didn't run out, but I mean, I, I, it might have got too low to pump because we're going to extend the depth of it and extend the foot valve so that in the worst dry seasons, it won't. Anyway, this one seems to do, be doing well. So, it's no big deal. You turn one of those orange knobs right there and one way and turn the yellow the other, then you're working on the new well, on a different well. Number one is on the top and number two is, you know, the first well we dug is top and the second well we dug was bottom. I had the bottom one tested. So right now we're running through the house and everything, number one well, which, I did not have tested because they wouldn't let me test but one well. One well per barangay per year or something like that. So, anyway, maybe that's quarter. Well, I wish I had my flip flops on today. I'd go out there and get that big rock right there. But, these are expensive shoes, so I don't want to get them wet. I shouldn't even be at work with these. But my plan is not to work. <laughs> my plan is to, my plan wasn't to work, but I want to get a few of these rocks a day. <laughs> so, rock with me. Just rock with us, just rock, just rock, just rock with us.
this rock I don't know I thought I saw it move <laughs> let's go check it out oh here it is I don't remember this rock being here you see that white thing in the water out there now they caught the largest saltwater crocodile in the world not far from here I think that's a rock, but maybe it was just the water. Can you see it out there? I don't even know if you can see it in the camera. Can you back up a little? Oh yeah, right there. Is that a rock or a saltwater crocodile? <laughs> there it is, see it? Oh, you saw it right there in that wave. That seemed closer. <laughs> Every once in a while, it looks like it's moving a little bit, but maybe it's just a reflection in the water. Right there, yeah. Right. The second uh, section, a little to the center. If I was in the center of it, it would be a little to the left. So, you know, I was doing those dressers, but you know, I missed my rocks. I got up a little bit. I didn't film it, but I went out in the water and dug one up that had the suction on it. You know, the biggest one. I think it's some old dead coral from somewhere. It just got floated up here. There's a lot of it here. Maybe the coral was here at one time. If it was, I don't know. <laughs> it might have been before the volcanoes made these islands. I don't know, I'm not sure about all that. But there's no, if there was coral here, there would be some uh, parrot poop, parrot fish poop beaches right here, which there is in Barakai. And I think over in Palawan over there. So I think this all probably came from Palawan, I don't know, during a storm, you know. Ships, sometimes they run over it, and break pieces off and stuff like that. So. I gotta go get these pieces. I was barefooted out here, but boy, you had to you had to dance out there to the wetter sand because it's hot right here, right here. Man. So now I've got my tennis shoes back on. But I just only went up to my knees to get uh, a rock. Oh, it was this one. I already brought it up here. That big one right there. See, it's kind of wet. It's almost dry off already. I think that was a piece of coral at one time. See how the texture of it is? Yeah, you can almost see a uh, creature right there. Old creature, fossil creature. Let me go get my rocks. So, rock with me one more time today. Two a days now. Two a days. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna figure out something uh, else to do to, but uh, you know tomorrow it's a big day for 62 to freedom uh, We're going to take off to Iloilo And probably spend the night, you know tomorrow's a build day But we're not gonna be here We're gonna go probably spend the night in Iloilo because I have a dentist appointment You know I haven't had time to take care of you know, a couple things fell apart. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take care of me. You know, you gotta take time out for you, but I, I feel too much responsibility here to get this done because it matters a lot, for one thing. You know, 
Um, and also, I was having so much fun. I ain't got time for a tooth. <laughs> I probably ain't gonna get one this, you know. <laughs> I probably ain't gonna get one right now, but it's gonna be a series of events that are gonna culminate in me having a brand new white t-shirt smile, baby. That's just how it is. Yeah, some of it's gonna be crowns, some of it partial, some this and that. I'll be like Frankenstein. Frankenstein rises from the grave. Anyway, let me go get my rocks. been locked in your heart-shaped rock for weeks <laughs> there's a whole mark anyway before you say it I know it says box but it ain't talking about no box it'd be nice if it was deeper I mean but I don't know how far you go till salt it gets the salt but ah uh, yeah yeah but that I think that area right there was part of the hill in yeah, the beginning. yeah. A little bit. Little bit, sir. Maybe like this, sir. Yeah. Yeah, cleaning. Okay. Then will you extend the foot valve a little bit? Yeah, yeah extend the bottom, sir, because uh, the here of the foot valve maybe like this, sir, because uh, cannot get too close, cause yeah, it so, suck up the dirt, right? Yeah, the dirt is uh, uh get the foot valve right up to the motor. Yeah, and that top, the lid does not fit good anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to go through the side like you yeah, were talking the side, about? Sir. Yeah, yeah. We came here to the, uh, um, the bat toy. You know, it's a noodle soup. Hey, how you doing, doggy? You never saw me before, huh? Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Oh, you want some of my sister running? <laughs> anyway, we came here to eat some bad joy. It's good here, they say. It's a malungai tree. Vitamin tree. Anyway, look at those clouds coming up. Boy, I bet the sunset is nice here. Anyway, it's a little restaurant here. Little restaurant. And they're supposed to have really good bet soy. See the <coughs> Ilanga bet soy. Yep. My wife likes it. She's been here before. <laughs> it's a little sorry sorry store too. And a little restaurant. They got the best batchoy here. That's why we traveled all this way to get. Oh yeah. Along with that one. 